Revolution. So literally taking a lifetime to grow these locks. I've seen them more common amongst homeless people. Not saying it's a homeless look or anything. But with this dude's look right here, you can see that he's tied up his locks with a string or a rubber band to kind of keep it intact as the Plica Polonica grows here. Um, looking like it could be used and due to a wash sometime soon. Now this look having its detrimental effects because it can be so heavy. Not all Polish plaits have to look nasty. These ones for example looking quite healthy. There's not any signs of dirt or mildew or buildup growing on. Especially dude on the right you can really see his plait has thinned out and thickened in certain parts of his dread. This picture on the left has popped up on this channel before. This is an example of a really bad Polish plat that could use some decent attention, some some separation, some good washing. But the dude on the right is kind of keeping it a bit neater. How he's keeping it combined with um, elastic bands, it looks like one big matted dread. Now this video on the right, this picture actually shows us um, a plica polonica that has been cut in half. This one not having too much buildup or anything on the inside, maybe a couple pieces of dandruff, but actually surprisingly clean in there, but very, very dry as you can see. This is a better case scenario. Um, meanwhile, there are some certain scenarios where there is some bad buildup and bad dandruff and very, very dry scalp that has been kind of been smothered within the lock over years to come. So. Um, crazy to see this kind of stuff happening on people's heads for real. The